digo eso? ¿Oí? La guitarrita. Bruto el synthesizer. Lo que yo quiero es una amiga. Bueno, más. Amiga con quien pueda hablar. How long ago did you write this song, man? Ooh, this was back about 85, 86. Yeah, no me acuerdo, bro. It, it was... Uh It was in the mid 80s, mid 80s, hey. yeah, mid 80s. Apenas estaba pegando, pues ya te iba salido de la ganga o Yeah, todo? well, see, what happened was uh, some of the members de la ganga, uh -huh. well, of course it was my brother Joe on the drums, sí. it was uh, Charlie Vela on the guitar, uh -huh. Henry Soto, God rest his soul, yeah. uh, on the bass, and on the vocals era Martin Martinez, and pretty much they all got out. Uh -huh. Nomás yo y mi carnal, so we got another band, you know, uh, J.D. Mata, who's in Hollywood now. And, Ay, el J.D. So, Mata, <laughs> anda, el, el novista, diré, yeah, movies. Yeah, I know, he's doing good, man. And uh -huh. uh, El Alvarado, este, who was uh, a wrist assault, I mean, he was a bass player. Rock and Rick Rock was a guitar player. Uh, Mario Hernandez, hermano de Brother John, uh -huh. who was on the saxophone with us. And uh, anyway, so we continued the band for a little while, did a couple of recordings. Es la ganga. Es la ganga. Okay. Well... The guys de que están concerniendo los que mencioné, verdad, Martín, uh, Henry, and, uh, and, and, and Charlie, they joined Chuy, his, uh, Jesse Cavazos. Jesse, uh -huh, Jesse Cavazos. Yeah, from New Sound Recording Studio, and they formed Sereno. Mm -hmm. So Sereno started, and, uh, you know, our band disbanded after a while, La Ganga. Then uh, Sereno came calling, knocking on my door, see if I wanted to help him out as a second keyboard player back up to, to Chuy because he would play the accordion too. So I helped him a couple of gigs, a few gigs. Uh, it worked out good until after a while, you know, things happened. And I, I, I left that band and I started playing, uh, este, uh, I think, with some other bands. Anyway, so eventually they needed a drummer too because their drummer, este Mando Magna Pitocaito, yeah. I think he was going to get out of the band. So they needed, uh, you know, they said, you know, can you and your brother come and join the band? So we did. And uh, we recorded a few songs. And that, Mi Amiga, the, the original version was the first one that, really did real good for us throughout the state started charting on uh, on the different uh, the hey. charts and did real good i i actually wrote that song for my my beautiful wife uh it's the uh things weren't going too well between uh -huh. us we had some uh, friction going on and we were boyfriend and girlfriend at the time and uh she said you know what let's be friends for a while Ay. so when we pa la casa tenía un planito un yori, yori de casi casi llegué a la casa este <laughs> Pero era por la cebolla que le estaba echando la comida ahí. And then, uh, so then I was on the piano and I started, you know, messing around. I said, you know, my friend, I'm thinking about my, my amiga. And I said, so I started writing the song, you know, the lyrics. And and uh, so that's what I came up with. And uh, we recorded it, did real good. Hey. Uh, she's my wife now, so I guess it worked. I don't know. Yeah. Yes. Cada, rato, cada rato la pedían en el radio cuando estaba yo ahí, el 45. Yeah, no, it was my, it was it my was wife. It was a 45 calling. record. It was my wife calling. Yeah. ¿Verdad? I play my song. No, no, no. Todo, todos los de los indios y ya de, 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 what, what's the name of that area? Ya, yeah, los indios, este, está el ranchito. El ranchito, ranchito las rusias. Las rusias, yeah. Hey. yeah la paloma. La paloma. Yeah, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's like, uh, that's an area on Military Highway, which is 281, yeah. I think. Yeah, 281. Uh, between San Benito or between Harlingen. Yeah. And because if you go south on Harlingen on Rangerville Road, you get to Rangerville, right? right. Exactly. And yeah. then you have to go left or uh, Or, or, or right, right so yeah. west yeah. or east, yeah. and if you go towards Brownsville, you run into all those yeah, little Paloma, areas. Ranchito, all that, and then if you come the other way, you'll you'll even get to Blue Town and Relampago. Yeah, and Progreso. I yeah. love riding the my Harley through those oh, areas. It's beautiful, man. It's real peaceful. Uh, speaking of Harley, yeah. I remember you bought a motorcycle. Did you you bought one before I did? Didn't you? Um, no. I think you had yours. I had first. mine already. I think you did. Yeah. So yeah, what yeah. was it? 2007 when you bought no, it? Because mine was a 2006. It's before that because in 2005 yeah. I, I, I took a little spill. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah, this is. I mean, yeah. I, 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 this is incredible, folks. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if you, it's okay if I share this story. Yeah, of but, course. Yeah, yeah. But Mondo bought an awesome Harley Davidson motorcycle against yeah. his wife's wishes. Uh -huh. I would imagine, right? Yeah, she wasn't crazy about. She the wasn't idea. crazy yeah. about the idea. Yeah, yeah. What made you want to? 
motorcycle, dude? Because I didn't have one to be influencing well, you, you know? Yeah, when we were kids, we used to have a, a, a little, it, it was uh, from Sears, uh -huh. a little motorcycle. It was my brother, my old brother, Pancho. Yeah. And uh, he left to the Marines, so my, my brother, Joel, who's a drummer in the band, considering, you know, uh, we started riding it and stuff, so I, I, I liked it, man. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just always wanted, to, uh, you know, I loved it then. And ese tiempo es cuando empezó este Orange County Choppers on TV yeah. and stuff. So, you know, just uh, the fever started building up. Well, I mean, I had known you for about 15 yeah. years, and yeah. you're yeah. even, yeah, about 15 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you you had, you know, I never knew of you wanting yeah. to be part of the biker culture or yeah. bikes or yeah, motorcycles yeah. or anything like that. Yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, se me metió la loquera, realmente. <laughs> it's a midlife crisis, uh, yeah, baby. So I bought it. <laughs> hey, I'm still a wild one. I'm still the wild one. Y llegué y sopas choqué. Oh, no. Right when he, when he went to go pick up the bike. I picked the up the bike. bike. <laughs> what? Like, like, wait a second. Like, how did you find the bike? Quack, quack, and what kind of bike man, was it? Man, I don't even remember. I think it was on Craigslist or something, uh -huh. bro. I, I don't know. I just went looking for it. I on the want ads in the newspaper or something. And I found the bike, uh, belonged to this uh, couple that lived way out there, man, north of uh, Ed Cauchelsa, por allá mm -hmm. por Monteato, yeah. no sé por dónde. ¿Y quién te llevó a ir a levantarla ya? My wife. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Check this out. That night, there was... There, there, ¿Ya sé lo que pasó? Eh. Te hizo ojo. Oh, hizo ojo. Yes. Te hizo ojo. Eso fue lo que pasó. <laughs> it's, it's her fault. It it it's her fault. Hurts me. Thanks a lot, honey. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> Cuando te subiste a la bike, oh my God. You know, yeah. hearts and flowers all over. You know, bro. You know what sucks is so when the guy that sold it to me, you know, oh, check this out. So when I was about to pick up the, the bike that day, we had a concert, a rock concert that was happening at uh, what's now Pain Arena. Uh -huh. And we were going to go. Like, my wife, nobody. Oh, because a guy called me, you know what, oh, este, we're going to be going out of town. You can come pick it up on Monday. No, man, it was a Wednesday, man. I got to pick it up. I know you know, la calentura, no? I got to pick it up tonight. Yeah. So uh, You were go, excited like yeah, a, like a yeah, kid with a toy. No, I, I know, you know. So then my wife goes, come on, let's pick it up. No, no, no. I want, I need to go today. Just take me. I'll pick it up. I'll come home. I'll pack it. Then we'll go to the concert. So we go. I pick it up. Last words, I remember the guy saying when I took off on the bike, be safe. Hey. You on the bike, me and be safe. Why did he tell me that? Why? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> had you had you ever ridden yeah, a motorcycle yeah, or had yeah, you had was, like, yeah, like an like experience said, with yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, you know, it had been years, uh -huh. years, you know. And it's honestly, it was a lack of experience. You know? And you took the back roads as well, right? Yeah, no, you didn't go through the expressway or well, anything like that. I was like coming that, down Monte Cristo. Uh -huh. You know where the uh, the overpass is there? Yeah. I was going under the overpass. Yeah. Was on iba dando la vuelta, agarré graba o algo, no sé qué pasó. <laughs> and uh, you know, I I overcorrected. Yeah. Went off the road, and you know the lack of experience. I should have no. just let go of the uh, you know hold the, bike. On the clutch and you know just you know, you know I could have controlled it. Yeah. Now if I get on it, I'll be okay. Yeah. But at that time, you know, I panicked, La Neta, uh -huh. when, and I went off the road, and there was a stop sign right there. And I stopped. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With my leg. Oh, <laughs> Le man. Pegué al con la pierna. Oh. It and hurt like, me, oh. dude. Yeah, it broke my femur. I was yeah. like, yeah. I. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was a, it was tragic. I'm just like, yeah. man, this guy, I'm glad you didn't get killed. And you, did, you didn't even have a helmet on, right? No, I did not. Yeah. One no, dozen wild one biker. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm, but I'm, after that, I wore a helmet. I'm 40 years old. I'm the man. You know what I mean? Or I don't know. You're probably <laughs> about 45 back then, right? Something yeah, like that. Yeah, I guess so. Let yeah. me see. Yeah. 40, uh, <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> so so he went and got the bike and mm -hmm. he didn't even get to make it home. No, nah, we didn't oh, see the concert. Man. Dang it. He didn't see sucks. the concert. Ended yeah. up in the hospital and the yeah. motorcycle ended up totaled or what? No, 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 no. The the bike guy actually uh, got messed up and I actually uh, got it redone, you know, le puse más la la pinté otra vez and got back on it. And what kind and, of bike uh, was it? It was a uh, uh, lowrider, the FXD. Yeah, cuz it was a cool yeah. bike, man. Yeah, and it was dropped. I had dropped it, you know, yeah. put the shorties on it, the short uh, uh uh, it's the shocks. As a matter of fact, I think pain. I had a picture of me, you, and uh, este, uh, the, uh, the, ¿cómo se llamaba el que era el, el, el DJ de 107.9? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, se, Mulan, se murió, Mulan, no, se no, murió. Mulan, he este, passed away. Oh, my God. I went blank. Yeah. His name. I was remembering his Mike? name. No. no. Well, Mike oh, Quinn was Mike there, Mike Quinn too. was on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But and then Eloy uh, Cano was on there. Yeah. Eloy, Eloy Cano El, is the last name, right? No, no. Eloy... Uh, 
Mar Mar no, el oil que estaba en qué pasa entonces, con nosotros. Ya estamos viejos. De eso me la bro, let, bro, let me tell you. I'm going to tell you a story about my fucking brain fart. Arechiga. I'm remembering for you. Raúl Arechiga Jeez. didn't have it. No, 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 I thought that was Eloy. Eloy Lozano, bro. Eloy Lozano, there you go. Eloy Lozano. He's going to hate me if he yeah. sees the show. Man, no. Peter Ragnar's in Economy Latin. Qué bonito, qué bonito. Eloy Lozano. Yeah. It was Mike yeah. Quinn. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't, it's not Double J, it's... Uh, oh, no, God, uh, it, Jesus. Um, I just saw that picture name? when we were and packing we, And we went up. to his funeral. Yeah. I mean, we went to, yeah, because he I mean, went. I knew him legacy. since he was at 104, because oh he was goodness. at 104. That's the very first time I met him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't believe I and, forgot And it was God. you and me, and we yeah. all have our bikes, yeah. and now I remember you did yeah. have that bike afterwards. Yeah, you got yeah, it yeah I did. Up. I got it fixed up. Then later on, I went on and I bought another one, a street glide. And that was awesome, man. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's what I got right now. Yeah. Oh, I got a 2014 uh, Street Glide y ya la pagué todo en día que eso. You know, más la pagué y chinga comenzó a fallar. No, no te quedas. No, no te quedas. No, no te quedas. No, no te quedas. Es lo que pasa, no. I know, bro. A mí me pasa un fricante. No more guarantee. You got to pay for it, man. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mando San Roman here with us, radio legend. And uh, we're filming the show live. This is live. This isn't pre recorded. This is, I mean, we're sitting here in the studio and we're talking to you live from our beautiful YouTube studios inside the beautiful Society 204 Community Workplace Building. This place is just absolutely amazing. If you can see the video footage of it, let me tell you, it is awesome. Beautiful offices. It's a it's an old school building restored. What do you think of the place, man? Mando? It's uh, fabulous, man. I got to see the whole place because now you're in the open. I was walking every, around. Is it every, door number five or door number six? I went upstairs. I walked around. Downstairs about two or three times. No, 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 no. I didn't realize there was a door here. And I, you know, I did not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but it's beautiful, man. The place is uh, it sure amazing, is. Man. There's a bar. If yeah. you want to have drinks, there's a, there's a stage. Uh, yeah, and what there's the, a stage where yeah. we can do a show. Yeah. Uh, I also got a, a kitchen and an eating area, and it's just an amazing place. If you've ever thought of you're barely starting out and you don't need big space and you need something really nice in a beautiful area that's got restrooms and all the amenities you need, plus a bar, uh, come and give us a call or come and uh, you know connect with us. Come on down. We're right in the heart of Edinburgh, Texas, right next to the uh, brand new courthouse that they're building. It's looking amazing, no? Oh, bro? it's looking great, bro, yeah. man. You know, Edinburgh's really growing right now, bro. Edward's really on the go right well, now. Well, we had Molina here, uh, and he was saying that in 10 years, it's Hello, gone from like 67,000 people to 100 and something thousand. Over right? 100. Over 100,000. Wow. So, and, and he said it, it, that's in the city limits, yeah. not out there in the uh, areas, the rural areas. Man, and you know what? They have so much growth that they can do up north in, yeah. in McAllen. I, I, we used to do some work for the EDC with uh, uh, Eli, the uh -huh. Eli Gonzalez, uh, yeah. where we used to do the Puerto Tejano TV show. And uh, so we did some work with the EDC and the plans that they have, man, for that area. Oh, it's going to be huge bro, out that area, bro. Wait till you hear what they've got planned for this area. Yes. I mean, this whole downtown plaza district with the courthouse is going to be looking totally different in about five to ten years. Uh, probably five because... Probably sooner than... Yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, there's some mm -hmm. really great plans. Even for our show, they want to keep us here in Edinburgh, Texas. We're more than... Happy to stay here because, of course, uh, my wife is from here. Yes, and, uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> That's one thing about Valley women. brownsville <laughs> Sí, bro, me vine con... Le, 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 le echaba burla, carnal. ¿Y dónde estás? ¿Y dónde estoy ahora, carnal? Oh, es un imán, carnal. Es un imán. Y yo soy puro fierro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, oh tonight's God. show is brought to you by none other than this man right here, the law office of Carlos A. Garcia. If you are injured in a serious accident, arrested on serious charges, you need an attorney that will fight for you in court because serious cases require a serious lawyer. Call him at 956 584 1448. 24 hours a day, 24 horas al día, 7 días a la semana, 7 days a week. He's got a website, thegarciafirm.com. And, man, let me tell you, this guy is top-notch, 110%. He's going to defend you, and you are going to have the best representation that the nation can have. 
right here. You will have them. 956-584-1448. He's board certified in criminal law by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization. Carlos A. Garcia, the law office of Carlos A. Garcia. I'm going to rest your susta me one time. Yeah. You know, uh, later on, también en mando, we, we do this thing uh-huh. um, that uh, we call um, the millionaire game. Oh, the millionaire oh. game. So we got 300 bucks on there, bro. Awesome. Pues cada vez que pierde alguien, le vamos a poner $10. Le estamos poniendo $20, carna, pero por nada en gana, carna. So, chinga. No, no, está, que, está creciendo. No quiero que vaya a ganar a alguien think, y no tengamos la feria. I think we should continue the $20. That's no, how we started. No, no, no. That's, that's how we started. I mean, you can't change the rules in the middle of the game. Exactly. Bro. We can't do on, that. Come on, we cannot hey, do that. When I did $20. Mucha te de that. No, hombre, cálmate, carnal. <laughs> Cuando estaba poniendo 20, nomás lo hicíamos una vez por semana, carnal. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, that changes okay, things. Okay, okay I get okay, it. Ahora, okay. yeah. <laughs> tres veces por semana, 60 bolas. Cállate la boca, shut up. <laughs> I love you all, pero ting, eh. <laughs> But, uh, oh, está God, hablando man. alguien. Hello, you're on the line. Who's this? ¿Qué pasó, rock and roll? Oh, <laughs> Billy Mendoza. <laughs> ¿Lo conoces? <laughs> Anda bien manguería. <laughs> ¿Qué pasó, Billy? What's going on, bro? Pues aquí con el Chevo bien de topper y bien de topper con el Chevo. Esto, dad, esto, dad, esto. Y es, y de buenas que, que Billy no está aquí, carnal. Eh. Porque then I would put you against him oh, no, con no, no, el no, Millionaire no. Game y te fuera a llevar papitas a ti, carnal. Oh, ¿Entiendes la onda? Este, porque Billy de la Sara, vato, y ese vato tiene todo. Es un libro, carnal. Él la conecta ahí. Eres un broly dandando, ¿verdad, oh. carnal? A, a was web, a was web that. <laughs> Oye, ¿y qué crees? ¿Cómo te gusta la jersey que tiene Mando San Román puesta ahorita, Billy? Oye, está toda madre, Dad. Yo tengo la mía, pero es blue, Dad, y puro Dad, carna. Sí, sí, oh, carna, my. pero, pero ¿sabes qué? Este, tú no eres como Manos a Román porque Mano no se la ha quitado desde el Sunday, eh, carnal. Desde la semana desde, pasada, por no me la quitaba. Desde que comenzaron a ganar, tiene miedo si se la quita, pierden, carnal. No la voy a lavar, No te bro. la pongas, carnal. No te la quites, carnal. No te la quites. Uy. Ey, so qué onda? ¿Le quieres mandar un saludito al Manos a Román? ¿Lo conoces o qué, Billy? Oh, pues, we, me and Mando go way back on the air, papá, cuando hablaba yo allá en el, cuando estaba en KWW. Hey, oh, yeah. La Caliente 96. La Caliente 96. Sí, yeah. Puro Tejano. Oye, teníamos como 10 slogans para esa estación, Man, ¿no? Man, no. <laughs> Cada vez le cambiaron. Los corporate guys querían a comprar todos los slogans. Nadie me agarra el slogan. Man, Do you nosotros. remember them? Do you remember them? Yeah. You remember José Luis Muñoz. Oh. And, uh, ¿Cómo se llamaba el, el, el gringo que estaba allá de, en El Paso? Oh, me was his name, bro. <laughs> Oye, este, vato, traer, bro. este vato está igual que yo, oh, baby. Está bien That's brain terrible. fart, ya, madre. Tiene That's dos viejitos terrible. aquí ya, en el pinche show. Ya brotó el pistón. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sí, no, hombre. Oye, está bueno, Billy. Hey, muchas gracias por apoyar el show, carnal. Eh, eh, le quiero mandar unos saludos al mando a San Román, que mande unos shout outs ahí en la morning show, Dad. Pues Simón, está. por la Super Tejano 102.1, carnal, ¿verdad? Eso, porque eh, Tejano a huevo, oh, de, oh, eh, Los Cowboys dejaron ir al Jalen Smith, Dad. Sí, porque... No sé, I, they let go of Jalen Smith, Dad. Pues el otro oh, chavo, el Micah, el Micah es ese que está sacando la daga y el Diggs, ¿verdad? Micah, yeah. oh, Micah es el otro bro. linebacker, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es el last name el, de Micah? El Micah Pearson. Ándale, Pearson, carnal, yeah, yeah. Simón, ese oh, chavo. Estaba yeah. jugando pesado este weekend también. A lo mejor dijeron, ¿sabes qué? Ya no necesitamos al Jalen Smith. A lo mejor está wow. vientando un monkey wrench ahí dentro de la defensa, carnal. Nunca sabes. Sí, pero lo malo es ver que a lo mejor los... Los pinches Giants los van a agarrar para el de Sandy no, Dad. No, hombre, quédate la boca, shut up. No Ay, van a agarrar nada, los Giants, Giants carnal. ¡Boo! ¡Fuera, Boo. fuera! ¡Vámonos! ¡Ahí te guacho, Billy! ¡Asústame one time, Dad! ¡Bye! <laughs> Hey, oh, you, you gotta have faith. Oh yeah, man. You know, there's no way the Giants. The Giants barely won this week. Yeah, you know, the Cowboys are a whole team, man. They got a lot of weapons. You know, I mean, Jalen Smith was a great player, pero. Last year, the year before, ¿verdad? Oh, yeah. He's a great player. There's no doubt, man. I wonder what happened. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure, we'll find that out later yeah. on, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Como quiera vamos a ganar, baby. We are. Como quiera vamos a ganar. Okay. All the way. So, on estamos aquí, baby? A ver, let me see. Because we teased the millionaire David game. David likes. Yeah. 
David Likes. Was that guy, no? El, el, el güero que dijiste. No. No. Ah, ok. Bolio. No, no. Ese está, es Bolio estaba con 104 y ahí se fue para con la 107 yeah, en San 107, Antonio. Yeah, okay. Y I se think, hizo tejano, el vato era yeah. General Market. Well, there was a guy that was uh, one of the upper Wilson. Ups. Ah, Wilson. Dan Wilson. Dan Wilson, yeah, Dan okay. Wilson. There you go. Okay, well, it's all coming back. Yeah. <laughs> Ten minutes later. Oh, my God. Están conectándose los alambres otra vez. Oye, Bando, I'm not going to lie, dude. Uh, I have been very, very forgetful these past few days. Really bad. Really bad, like, uh, like, like really in bad. a way I've never been Rock, before. Are you vaccinated? Yeah. Okay, that's why. No, no. Well, no that, that's what he was saying. No, no, no. That's what he was saying. No, but I no. also I also had COVID. You yeah, know? I, yeah. I, is this a freaking? Because I used to forget little things here and yeah. there, bro. But, but you know what, Rock, and I've noticed that too on, on me. But you know what, I think you know we're as we've gotten older. Honestly, mm-hmm. you're doing a lot of things, bro, and mm-hmm. we do so many things. I'm thinking of a whole bunch of things every time I'm doing something. Y pues las cositas más pequeñas se, se me va la onda, but it comes back eventually, you know what I'm saying? Pues la social media has a lot to do with that too. True Because that. when we're talking with somebody, we're thinking about our social media sometimes. Well, yeah. I am, I yeah, know. Yeah. I, I'm, you know, like, and I think of something I could post or I'm thinking, it's, uh, it just, the yeah. impulsiveness of social media. Yeah. And then there was this whistleblower that came out on Sunday. Oh, man, did you hear that? Yeah, and, and then Facebook was out for about f- six hours on Monday. I think it was more than that, bro. And everybody was tripping yeah. out, you know, because yeah. a lot of people have, like, the past 15 or 12, 13 years, uh, their digital life is on there, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Uh, but what the lady was saying was that they, they have some precautions to be able to, uh, you know, of algorithms, the, the way algorithms. they manipulate algorithms for people to stay longer on their platform. Mm-hmm. And they realize that the emotion that keeps them longer on the platform is anger. So then they push out a lot of stuff that's going to make the the user angry to start, you know. And there's been times cuando pongo yo algo y comienzan a alegar unos, unos vatos ahí entre el, entre el thread y me duermo y desperto el siguiente día y todos están peleando, yeah, carnal. I know, I know, it's crazy. Se levantan mientras chingazos. Yeah. You know, it was, they're on the platform. And I've noticed also sometimes I'll put a, a YouTube link yeah. and I'll post it. And then five hours later, not even one like on it. I know it's crazy, Or uh, right? no comments. Because Facebook doesn't want you or the user to hit YouTube and get off their platform and then yeah. stay on YouTube for a while. Yeah. They, they manipulate so, those So things, they're man. manipulating stuff. And it's all for money and for data. And then Facebook knows everything everything about you bro it's crazy man you know you can be talking about something right now like you and i right now you open up your phone let's say we're talking about bikes you know don't be don't be surprised if you know we're talking sale. about harley davidson's you'll open up facebook de repente sale harley davidson what the? yeah you know it's crazy it's, it's happened so many times i've proved it with people that have been talking Otra vez estaba yo. i was in the in the with my hairdresser Yeah. Lo poquito que me queda, carnal. <laughs> yeah, I'm there, bro. Yeah. It's hairdresser. No, it's hair's dresser. Yeah, no, <laughs> One es, hair. Es hair. <laughs> Peínamelo no. para este lado, para este lado. Lope, y estábamos hablando y yeah. le dije, hey, ¿sabes qué, Celia? Se llama Celia Fernández. Sí. Shout out to Celia. Se me cagó el polvito que me echó aquí en, la, en el hormiguero arriba de la cabeza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y dice, oh hormiguero, why do you call it that? Pues nunca has visto una yarda bien bonita en el medio de un ball spot con hormigas. <laughs> este, el hormiguero. Eso es lo hormig- <laughs> el hormiguero. I can't picture that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, you got that ball spot yeah, in the yard. Yeah, el ball spot en la yarda. Y por eso cuando tienes el ball spot acá atrás, mi suegro es el que me salió con eso. Un saludo para el suegro. Oh, Oye, yeah. Rack, y tu hormiguero allá atrás, Rack. ¿Qué pasó ahí? <laughs> Qué bonito. Ya tiene un suegro. De Deja tú, el suegro, el suegro no tiene nada, carnal. Oh, tiene He was happy to yeah. see you join the club. Yeah. So <laughs> le dije a la Celia, la Celia Fernández, le yeah. dije, y se me cagó el polvito ese que me echó aquí en la cabeza. Este, y así lo dije. Yeah. And then I'm going home and I go on social media, boom, un commercial, un ad del pinche polvito ese, carnal. I tell you, bro. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Ajá. Yep. They're listening our phone. You oh, know, yeah. a lot of people, you know, they were worried about, you know, or whatever, things like that, you know, that you're going to get, you're going to be tracked or whatever. You're going to be, como le llaman, chipped. 
Mm-hmm. The chip is on your phone. We carry it around voluntarily yeah. all, the time. all the time. They track mm-hmm. everything and everything yeah. we say and we do, man. Yeah, and the reason is, yeah. is is when we go live on Facebook, when you want to upload a picture, uh, yeah. you need to give us permission to go into your photo gallery. Oh, yeah. They got all our shit, bro. All you got it. some bad photos in there. They got them. They got them. And then if somebody starts working in there, que es una hater, carnal, lo entiendes, lo puedes saltar para afuera, whatever, anyway. Yeah. Uh, and then also, they also ask, when you want to go live, do you give Facebook authority to access your microphone or you need to open your microphone? And your camera. You open it up, you open up the camera so you could do your live thing. And from there on, man, they can listen to you anytime Everything. they want. And it's not even a human listening. It's like an, uh, an it's artificial intelligence yeah, AI. just recording your yeah. data. And then they have you in a folder. They have a folder of us, folks, mm-hmm. each one of us. Oh, yeah. And in the folder, it says, okay, this guy likes a lot of, uh, you know, Biden uh, posts or or uh, cat posts or, you know, uh, uh, immigration posts. They, they know Whatever exactly. It is, that's uh, what you're fed. Yeah. Whatever, you know, makes you want to look at the, that Facebook or stay on Facebook the longest, that's what they post the most for you. If you like politics, they'll put a lot of that. If you mm-hmm. like bikes, if you like girls, if you, whatever it is, you'll see a lot of it on your Facebook, on your profile. And uh, have you seen The Social Dilemma? That movie? No, I've heard about oh, it. It's on Netflix, it out, right? Yeah, yeah, it's on Netflix. You got to check it out. It, uh, it it enlightens you a lot as to what they uh, they do. With, But uh, you can't even trust them because they're, they oh, might, yeah. the, the, the show's produced by them. By you them. know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. the ones. They got yeah. so many billions. But, But it makes sense. Of dollars that they're investing money in all kinds of different types of uh, cultural, uh, you know, and uh, and, and informative yeah. or information programs. And they can, they, a, a documentary can be skewered as bad as a news report. Yes. Who uh, do you trust now? Yeah. It's, Who do you trust? And it's making <laughs> America and a lot of Americans a lot more cynical, man. You know what I mean? You don't yeah. trust anybody, yeah. which... You should always be skeptical, folks. I oh, mean, yeah. you should Absolutely. never just follow the, the guidelines. You should think about, well, this and that, whatever. Yeah. So I was wondering, you know, this lady that came out as a whistleblower, like, what well, what are her, her intentions? And, yeah. you know, she's saying that if Facebook is causing extremi- extremi- uh, extremism. There we go. Extremism. extremism. Yeah, extremism. And, uh, you know, and, and they... Um, Especially for the kids, the kids uh, with Instagram and stuff. Them well, being, Instagram yeah. was going to put a uh, start a Instagram for kids, mm-hmm. and wow. they scrapped the whole thing because they made an internal study that this girl, this woman, exposed that it's causing a lot of depression and suicide, suicide. amongst young girls so yeah. sad. because they have to, you know, uh, live up to the to the. The people liking, you know, you go to pages, a, yeah. and, and women that have, you know, bodies and stuff, they yeah. got thousands of sub- subscribers or followers. Yeah. So everybody thinks in order to be, you know, popular like that, you have to be like that. Yeah. Uh, so, Which is nonsense. And then there's filters. Yeah, it is nonsense. There's yeah. filters that they use yeah. that they're living in a world that's not really reality because it's not them they're using filters for it and stuff yeah, like that there, so there's a lot of people you see around and you know they they, they use the filters you need to see them in person like oh, <laughs> i ball. know it's like who are we you we need to make real yeah. life oh filters my, it's so <laughs> sad. <laughs> I look like a little girl with a filter. Los ojitos así. Oh, my God. Hey, y de ahí cuando, sal, cuando sale un filter nuevo, todos agarran carritos, no salen oh, yeah. todos en el, post, en el social media con el, los per, la, la lengua de perros. Y la, remember when everybody was doing that? Yeah, the dog. Yeah, Estaban like, yeah. monkey see, monkey do, oh, raza. Oh, my God. Es lo que es, ¿verdad? That's what it is, man. Yeah. That's why the only thing you can trust nowadays is radio. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, we're, well, especially when there's a human on there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Speaking of radio, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Mondo's been on the radio for, whoo, man, since 1978. You got about 40 years? 79, 79. 79, 79 so yeah. you're, you're 42, like 43 years? Uh, I think 43 it is. 43 yeah, years, 42, so you were 10 years yeah, yeah. in by the time I jumped, you got me in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. yeah, man, it's a it's a crazy story. You know, you know I've, I've said it before, man, but... Uh, 
you know, I, I, first time I saw you, you know, on the mic, you know, there at uh, Studio 4. Uh -huh. By the way, salud para Mariano uh -huh. Pignetti. Salud para uh, la familia Reynoso. I have him, de yeah, I have him in, 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 on Facebook now, uh -huh. and we communicate every now and then. Me ha hablado por ahí por Facebook for messages. Pero es Marion, no es Marion. Marion, yeah, es, Mar es Marion. But oh. we used to call him Mariano. Yeah, Mariano. Yeah, everybody known him as Mariano, but yeah, yeah, Marion yeah. Pilecki. And his wife, Elena, and uh, Gracie, of course. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, so, you know, I saw him. I said, man, this guy's got him, man. He's got it going on. This acaba la daga in the club, no, in uh, Studio 4. And uh, so Mike Cantu used to be the program director, and I uh, remember uh, he's, he needed somebody. Lejan Canitas. El can, el Mike Canitas Cantu. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> did he like it when you all told him that? I don't no? think he did. No, he didn't <laughs> like it because he had a full, beautiful set of white hair. Yeah, man, you look awesome. real good, man. Yeah, yeah. Pues, it uh, looked you, bad. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't be. Yeah, good. You know, later se, se pintó el cabellito, man. No, no hay problema. You know, to each his own, you know, mm -hmm. cada quien. Este, and anyway, so, you know, I, I told him uh, about you. He said, yeah, we'll talk to him. So, fui a hablar contigo. And you really weren't uh, too turned on to being mm. on uh, KIW, Tejano. a Tejano radio station. Yeah. You wanted to do rock. Yeah. That's what you wanted to do rock. Yeah, uh, rock radio. And they had 99.5, yeah. K yeah. KRIX. Yeah. Exactly. So and, I went to uh, talk to Ace Peladino. I called him or something. I said, hey, man, do you have any any uh, room for, uh, for a jock, man? I, I know this guy is real good. He goes, no, nah, man, not, not right now. We're not mm -hmm. looking for anybody. He says, oh, okay. So anyway, so I talked to you again, I think. I talked to Mike. He said, well, talk to, to, talk to rock, to James. So, you know, it's the Jungle James. Yeah. It's the, and then... Uh, I went to your house, and uh, you were all sick. Yeah, uh, and, and 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 I had a terrible. You know, no, era the COVID, flight, era man. the flu. <laughs> It was, it was 1988. <laughs> it was 1988. Yeah. It was August, and yeah. it was during the summer, and I had a summer flu. Yeah, you were real sick. I remember yeah. that day. And man. then uh, Mondo told me to go to the studio and do a uh, you know a commercial, yeah. uh, just a voice over, and I. I didn't make it. And yeah. then I told him, no, me bro, like, I, you know, pude ir. He said, no, pude yeah. dejate venir ahora. So I went yeah. the next day. Yeah. And Brother John, man, I mean, that's somebody that I would really like to maybe have on the show, yeah, you know, and, yeah, yeah. and talk to him uh, because uh, he had a lot to do with my learning radio. También. Awesome. Yeah, he was a, he was a great guy. Did a, did a real good job in radio. Also, where he went to work for Joy Records uh, mm -hmm. as a rep and then. Después, uh, he ended up uh, por allá por North Carolina, South yeah. Carolina, North Carolina. So. I wonder what he looks like. I wonder what he's up to. I work with him at uh, after, because they got rid of him from KWW. And yeah. then I was, what happened with, you know, want to know what happened with me and, 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 and KWW was, Brother John was let go. Yeah. Right? And then he went and he started 106 over there in Brownsville. Right. Which was a Tejano, you know, competitor to... Yeah. 96.1. What was it called back then? Tejano oh, 106 man. or what the heck was it? Yeah, Tejano 106, La Nueva or yeah. La no something like that. Something like that, yeah. And so these other guys started working at the station, J.J. Moreno and Rudy Cod, and, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and then they had a Teofilo who was the uh, program director Teofilo from Garcia. Chicago yeah. that had no idea about Tejano music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pobrecito. Uh, yeah, he, he had another, you know, and, and that's something about corporate that I always – befuddled me they'd bring people in that aren't even of the area and those people try to come in and make this area their area yeah instead yeah. of trying to figure out what can make this area better absolutely and so so they were there and they became a clique you know and so one day um he he uh he receives a reel of martica que siento los uh, siento los pies so, el, siento la tierra temblar bajo de mis pies mm. it was a martica song yeah 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 so she, he comes uh Joefilo comes and gives it to JJ and says nadie tiene esta canción nosotros vamos a ser exclusivos mañana para ponerla en el aire Orale. la vamos a presentar ponla en cartucho y vamos a presentarla en la mañana aquí en 96.1 porque somos los exclusivos Woo. órale <laughs> yes, so uh, JJ fue y grabó su you know yeah. Y lo cartuchó y lo preparó y todo. Right. The next morning, Teofilo's on the way to work, and he's yeah. listening to Brother John on the radio, and he plays it. Uh-huh. And he flips, dude. <laughs> oh, he my God. He flips, dude. Oh, You yeah. know, he's like, how did he have it if it was exclusive to us? Yeah, yeah. So back then, after Brother John had left, I was still in communication with Brother, Brother John. John. We're still friends right, because... Yeah, yeah. He would send me to go do DJ gigs for him. Right. Uh -huh. Right? Hey, yeah, when he le equipo rock, and he'd pay me and everything. So I was making extra money right. with Brother John. Uh -huh. So I still had a relationship. Yeah. So who do you think they thought gave Brother John... With this to rock. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, oh neta, carnal. Goodness. Yo no sabía nada, bro. Wow. And so... 
So then, <laughs> so then they take me into the office. You know, Teofilo takes me into the office. I never knew this story, bro. Yeah, that's what happened. Wow. And so Teofilo takes me into the office. And he starts giving me this old freaking lecture about loyalty, dude. Yeah. Uh oh, what he yeah. saying? And I'm like, where's this coming from, dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know what's going on. And then he mentioned to me, yo le, re, le di el real uh, JJ Moreno para que lo grabara en cartuchara. Y después vamos a ser exclusivo. Y eh, brother John la, la tocó también en la mañana. Y tú eres el único. So, Fuera. Y, ah, me oh, corrió, bro. Man. Me corrió, bro. Dang it, bro. Yeah, and I was like, I don't know how what happened or nothing, but I was asking, I fell, I te watch him. Oh, <laughs> so that then, sucks, bro. Yeah, so I went home and I was like, I ain't got a job. I still was doing my rate, my club stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. And so then I get a call like at the end of the week, uh, and it's a woman's voice. Hello, is this James? Yeah. I go, yes. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, rock and roll James. Habla Raul Hernandez. <laughs> and Ooh. so the woman on the phone that connected Raul to me was Carlos Guzman's wife. Melva. <laughs> Melva, okay. And Melva told, found out that I had gotten fired. Right, yeah. And she told, he said, Man, this is exact words that. Raúl Hernández tells me on the yeah, phone. Yeah. Dice Melba aquí que te tú y tú tú es igualito que Mano San Román. Órale. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Oh, And you know what? I'm yeah. not going to lie. I did. <laughs> I emulated. This guy was my, wow. like, my, uh, not not inspiration, but my guide to yeah. Tejano Radio when mentor? I first joined Tejano. Yeah, like he was a mentor. mentor. Yeah. Yeah, he was, a, that's wow. what I put on the post, my yeah. radio mentor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. mentor. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because I I sounded, I wanted to sound just like him, you know, on the radio. And that's what I said. Mando on the radio, that was always his gimmick, yeah, right? Yeah, Mando on the radio. And yeah. so... Me sounding like you got me a job right away, <laughs> well, dude. Well, there you go. Yeah. con la comisión, papá. Yeah. You know what is crazy? That happens a lot. You know, when you listen to a lot to, to another DJ, you're, you'll start sounding like a... Uh -huh. That's why, you know, I... Personally, I try not to listen to anybody around here. Mm -hmm. You know, like when we work together, was of course, you know, se me pegaron cosas de ti while back yeah. and forth. You know what I'm saying? Que pasó, dad? Yeah, que pasó, dad? I know. <laughs> Everybody was saying, que pasó, dad? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's there. You know, that's forever, man. It's embedded, man. But it's your yeah. thing, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, te doy crédito siempre. Asustame one time. I always, you know, así que... Uh -huh. you know, well, that, that you, belongs to uh, uh, Oscar de la Cruz from Mercedes. From Mercedes, yeah. So I need to yeah, give yeah. him, you yeah. know, the... Yeah, yeah. the, 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 the Credit. Thank, the yeah. credit for he would call me on the five o'clock yeah. and he'd say it. And I it remember just, that. Yeah, it turned yeah. into a big yeah, catchphrase. But you're the one who made it big, you know. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah. So you know, and when I, I sometimes I'll say it on the radio. Sister, my one time, you said rock. You know, I gotta give credit where credit is due. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, como los uh, los uh, como se llaman los bad boys. Ah, eres clica, eres la sangre, eres clica. Oye, oh, did they ever give you money for that, bro? No, no nunca me dieron. Me dieron eso. <laughs> no, me ni me dieron CD, carnal. Oh, ¿Qué onda? Oh, ¿Qué onda? Oh, 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 that song was awesome. Since I can't yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those were good yeah, old days, dude, bro. but, uh, you know, I, I emulated Manusa Roman uh, for the first, at least first three or four, four years of my career. And uh, it was interesting because when I started with you guys in 88, it was part-time weekends, and then I was doing clubs. Yeah. And then I got Graveyard, and I'll never forget. <laughs> we were in the Rio Grande Valley, 1988-89. We had a general sales manager by the name of Escalante oh, yeah, out yeah. of Chicago who Jose was a Escalante. salsa freak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy loves salsa. So he wanted to incorporate salsa into the Tejano I, I mean, he was, I can't believe, a pro, who was a program director that let him do that? I think it was Teofilo at the time. It bro. was Teofilo, I think it right? Was Teofilo. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man. So then they played, like, now salsa is like everybody, it's like kind yeah. of more mainstream. Yeah, yeah. But back then, and we're talking well, Willie Colon and, yeah. and like like hardcore salsa. Yeah, hardcore salsa, yeah, yeah. And so I, I remember Celia Cruz, Celia like, Cruz yeah. and Tito Puente and yeah. all, all the, the hardcore salsa. Yeah. And so. We, we, I don't think the program, Rogelio, when he took over, he he didn't want, because we were playing one salsa song an hour. Yeah. And it was at like 50 after the hour. Yeah. Right before we ended, si queda tiempo, toca la, si no queda, no la toques, yeah, yeah, right? Exactly. So, 
Escalante ended up saying, all right, since we're not going to have that salsa, we need a salsa show at one at 12 midnight every night. So I was playing, <laughs> I was graveyard, and I was like, not a one-hour salsa show. It was 10 to 2, dude. Oh, my God. 10 to 2. And so I had to stop playing Maz, La Mafia. I had to stop playing all the oh, hits. Did you have any calls? And no, dude. Just one <laughs> call. Like, one call. And you know who it was? Again. Mary. Mary. Remember Mary? She would call and uh, she would uh, talk to the DJs. And Oh, Mary. Was she from San Benito? Yeah, yeah Mary yeah. from yeah. San Benito. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I remember, man. Yeah. Oh, my God. And uh, so she was a big radio fan. Yeah, yeah. And she would, like, she was the kind that would support even whatever we did on the shows. Yeah. Uh, all day long, 24 hours a day, right? Yeah. She was a P1 lister. Era como Dora, la de Raymond. Yeah. Dora. <laughs> so she would call and we would just like chat for like a, an hour, you know, because I'm not listening to this music, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then at two o'clock, we do Tejano. Yeah. Lines start fuck, uh, popping, you know? Yeah. Okay. Like, what are we doing playing salsa? Oh, my God. You know, but. <laughs> We've done some crazy things. You know, it's like, even on pasa, I don't know if you remember, we started playing some reggaeton and some duranguense. Uh -huh. Remember that time? Yeah. You know, it was like nothing to do. Todo revuelto con lo tejano. It was like, it was like a, a capirotada, you yeah. know? Yeah. And if you are going to do that, you yeah. have to put songs together from different genres that sort of like complement each other. Like, like for example, P1 listeners of the rock station are, yeah. are, or are P2 listeners, which are people that don't listen to the rock station 100% are country. Yeah. So if yeah. you're going to put something... To mix with rock, well, might as well put some southern rock or something that's got a country exactly. flavor to it, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it'll bring both those audiences yeah, together. Yeah, yeah. But this one, it was like we're like right Way. field and left field and stuff <laughs> totally, like that man. because the programming was being done by the big by the, the suit and tie yeah, in the yeah. freaking office, you know. Yeah. So then when we finally decided to go back to Tejano, I don't know if you remember, uh, corporate hated me, bro. Uh -huh. Man, I would call over there because I would have to, you know. Like, why in the world would they hate you, man? And I always well, thought, why didn't they give this gig the mando? Well, see, the thing is, you know, uh, you know, Larry Sophia was with us, you know, and Larry said, uh, "Mando, I, I think it's broke. We gotta fix it." I said, "Well, I can fix it." I said, "I either fire everybody, all the DJs, and we go a hundred percent." 100% regional mexicano. Mm -hmm. I got to get another set With, of uh, jocks. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll move right that to the That are completely, rock totally yeah, Spanish totally speaking. And watch I, the novelas, watch all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I had already talked to some of the jocks at the other stations. They wanted to come with us with 99.5. Mm -hmm. Con que pasa. Este, and uh, so I was going to steal some, some jocks from the other stations. I said, or, he said, or what? I said, we go back to Tejano. That's, that's, I'm, and I, I asked him, when you think of que pasa, what format do you think about? Well, Tejano. He says, but Mondo, Tejano is dead. I said, no, it's not. I said, it's, we let it go. You know, thanks to Corbett. And so, uh, you know, he said, well, think about it. Come back tomorrow and talk to me but about go it. But going back to the yeah. blending of the genres. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you blend Tejano with Ramon Ayala. That's okay. Pasa, carnal. Yeah. Hey, Pito you, Rivares, you have to, Yeah. It's Solido like, Duelo, yeah. Yeah. And that's you have to be selective and there's only a certain... Yeah. But you're not going to put reggaeton in there. You know and what then I mean? Then we had all two, all three, you know, yeah. formats. You know, like... <laughs> a ver a cual pega, carnal. Vienta todo el pedo pa la pared. A ver que pega, yeah, carnal. Que pega. <laughs> so, and, you know, so... Anyway, so, long story short, you know, we... I, I said, you know, let's go Tejano. We went Tejano. Everybody was all excited. All the staff, were, the air staff was excited. It was great. It was going great. Uh, but every time I'd call corporate, well, I would ask them questions about the programming things we wanted to do. Well, uh, we don't know. You're the program director. You you know what to do. Yeah, because this uh, is the only yeah. place with Tejano down yeah, there. Yeah, really. I mean, but no, they and didn't. They didn't say it nicely. Uh -huh. They just didn't want to deal with me anymore. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when Larry left, you know, I knew my days were numbered. So come September, they decided, you know, adios. Yeah, yeah and, and it's just, uh, you know, that was, I mean. Who would have thought that a few years later, yeah. like 70 to 80 percent of the radio jock industry would disappear, bro? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah. they from one day to the next, there was yeah. 20 jocks gone. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I was always expecting that day. Yeah. I would yeah. always tell Alex Duran, you know, who was a program director of 107, and yeah, you know, he's he's in Florida now. I would always ask him, "Is this the year? You know, that we're all gone?" <laughs> Uh, because I was seeing the technology, you know, Changing. I was seeing oh, social yeah. media, Spotify. I was already on all those platforms, 
you know, listening to music. And then one time I went to a concert and it was like they had we had the headliner, which was an artist that we would play on the rock station. Right. And then the middle band was a band called Ten Years, right? And then there was another opening act. The middle band, the entire place was singing along to every song. Wow. And it wasn't heavy thrash, nothing like that. It was yeah. like it, it was per, per, like kind of Pearl Jamish music. Right. And so then I kept telling myself, well, where did these people find out about these guys? We don't play them. Yeah. Because oh, it yeah. used to be the only music information that people got were from the radio stations. Yeah. But then I went and I talked to, I, I, the next day I went straight to Alex. I said, Alex, do we play 10 years? No. Well, shoot, man, somebody's playing, you know, the, they're very popular. We should at yeah. least play one of the songs, dude. Yeah. Uh, but it was probably a little bit too, you know, kind of late for it. Yeah. But it it told me right away, okay, radio's influence is not the same as it used to be. What can we do to continue making radio uh, you know, relevant, Yeah, you know? And so, well, we have to embrace the social media to be able to keep promoting our brand and our radio. Absolutely. And yeah. so that's what we had. And then, uh, you know, yesterday when Facebook was gone, you know, I said, this is a wake up call. We need to open other platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to, 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 you know, like the news in Houston, I watch it. I watch it on YouTube in clips. Yeah. The NFL games, I watch them on YouTube. Mm -hmm. After the the game is over, they put them up, and you watch it in 13 minutes. Yeah, on exactly. Sunday night, watch it como five games in dos horas, bro. De volada, yeah. And that's the it. highlights, yeah, yeah. And stuff, yeah. And and that's the way it is, you know. Nowadays, uh, you know, uh, of course, you know, there's always going to be a need for TV. There's always going to be a need for radio for the localism, you know, your your personalities mm -hmm. and stuff. But a lot of people do consume, you know, whatever they consume. Uh, they use social media, you yeah. know, the, the the streaming and all this stuff, and and it's reality. That's why you know all yeah. TV and radio. We have embraced social media, and now we work it together. And it's a it's a it's a good yeah good mix. It's a yeah, good mix. and you know, I was like, radio is still a powerful tool. I oh. mean, it's still a powerful tool. Yeah, because uh, you know, people come and advertise with us, and they're getting results. Oh, absolutely, and that's great. You know. Uh, so, and we're one of the only ones still hanging in there, bro. 40 know, years man. later. How, how you've been in, in radio 30 years, 33 years, 33 years, man. Yeah. It's crazy. And you're the one that got me into yeah. the radio station 33 yeah. years ago. Yeah. And you had already been in radio 10 years. Yeah. About 10 years. Most of and yeah. you, you were from the days that it was like a small little, we played records, bro. Well, you were playing with records a ringing too, yeah. telephone, all mm -hmm. that stuff. Oh yeah. You know, we used to have a receptionist. Uh, to answer our calls, you know, that we had at KIWW, well, I started at KRIO, KRIO was English radio. I first uh, went to 104. That almost worked, but it didn't happen. Anyway, so I went to 910 nine, KRIO, and uh, so I was there. But then when I came to KIWW, that's uh, when I first got my, well, I, I, I was full-time at KRIO, left there, then went to, to KIWW. And we had so many calls coming in with uh, KIWW in the evenings that we had to hire a receptionist just to get all the requests and mm -hmm. dedications. It was basically, that's what it was, man. Just yeah. requests and dedications, requests and dedications. What a great time in life, mm -hmm. no? Back in the day. Yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, one of the uh, the receptionists, Lupita Almaguer, just passed recently away, passed away man. from COVID. Yeah, I know, man. dude. I was that shocked. Soul, yeah. uh, Marvin, her son, is a good friend of mine, man. A yeah. shout out to Marvin. Yeah. And Lupita was working there with us. Absolutely. She was there working Beautiful with us. Beautiful person, yeah. And uh, she actually had, I think, recovered from COVID, but it had left her lungs just Beautiful. torn up, and she ended up passing away. And, you know, a lot of people passing away with COVID. Uh, Gipper uh, from uh, Cumbia Kings. Cumbia Kings. You know, I had just seen him about... Uh, Three weeks before, I think, because uh, they had performed. Well, Jaime de Anda, uh, Jaime and AB did a project together. Uh -huh. Of course, uh, it's the Gipper. Los Furiosos. Los Furiosos, yeah. And uh, Gipper was always, you know, Gipper and uh, AB. AB, inseparable, man. On the kid and Davan. A veces andaban acá en la troquita vieja y la frega, you know, dando la vuelta. Uh, but anyway, so uh, I had just seen him uh, in La Feria. They had performed at, uh, at a venue. I was emceeing. They estuvieron Palominos. Uh, first time Palominos uh, performed without uh, James. And uh, no, no, no sorry, without, without, uh, without uh, Johnny, the Johnny, without Johnny, it was gone Christian. We'll talk about that. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, you know, I saw Gipper there, 
took a picture. I had never taken a picture with Gipper. You lo conozco hace muchos años, ¿no? Uh-huh. Es que traía su grupo, que sí, era su own band and stuff. Sí. And, uh, Tenía so, una cumbia casi como la papaya o como yeah, un coco yeah, rayado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And great producer, man. He's an amazing producer. Creator. He's yeah. one of the ones that uh, helped uh, uh, AB produce a lot of the songs and stuff throughout the years. And uh, so then they, the next week after they performed here, I think they went to Vegas. And that's where he caught it. Oh, man. And uh, uh, unfortunately, he uh, was not vaccinated. Yeah. And uh, so lo agarró. He had some underlying uh, issues. And, and so, you know. I know. It's just like it this happened. COVID thing. I'm like, yeah. what's the end game? It seems like it's already slowing down quite a bit. Well, I don't know if that, uh, that, that uptick that we got was due to the 4th of July. Because 4th of July, everybody was out. Yeah, yeah. Everybody was out. I think it was a and there was soon. like four concerts at the island. One of them was Midland. No cabía la gente, bro. That place holds chingos of people. Yeah. Y no podías a meterte. It was so packed. And then the following night, they had Ice Cube and other rappers. And then on Sunday, we went to the Intocable, right? Yes, we did. Yes. And there was a big crowd. And then after that, we went to a bar, and it was really crowded and doing karaoke. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that's where I got it or if I just got it from somebody that I just spoke to yeah. personally. Yeah, yeah. You have no you, idea. You don't know. You know, yeah. it could, it could have been it at a store, been at a gas station. Yes. You know, it could mm-hmm. have been I, who knows, man? It's crazy. Yeah, man. But, uh, you know, I mean, we got the, the thing about me right now is I still can't taste and I can't smell. Yeah. yeah. And for a while, I was like, night pedo, night pedo, right? Yeah. And now it's like, it, it's kind of annoying because. I was driving through a neighborhood and I lowered the windows and I couldn't smell the neighborhood, you know. Man, it's crazy, right? I couldn't smell the neighborhood. I couldn't. Uh, when I would ride my Harley out in the country, you'd smell the mm. blossoms. Yeah. You smell the the yeah. cow shit, and then you yeah. smell, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and you yeah, smell everything. the country. Yeah, you, you know, smell the, 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 you know nature. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and you smell the smoke of uh, somebody burning trash or somebody the car in front of you. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> you I can't do that anymore, yeah. bro. Man, it's crazy. And then I'm like inside the studio, you know, yeah. right? And I'm like. Um, can you taste food already or no? No, dude. Oh, it's, I'm amazing. going on 90 days. Dude, man, I, I, I it's horrible, man. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it sucks, dude. It, yeah, not yeah. to, you know, when you taste something, it, it's like you're tasting mush or yeah. something. Just the texture. Yeah, That's yeah. all I, like, I can kind of, even though, uh, like, her mom was making me some food while I was sick, right? Yeah. And uh, I was like. I don't have any taste buds, but this is delicious, you know? Yes. <laughs> I mean, the texture and the fulfill- yeah. fulfillingness of it. And, you know, you're okay at the beginning, yeah. but then after 90 days, it's like, wait, well, hey, bro, come on, carnal, I want to smell again, yeah, you know? It's been bro. more than now, 90 days. Yeah, yeah, and the thing is, sometimes I'm in Maybe, the booth. What if they never come back, man, your taste buds? Well, that's the thing. Yeah, bro, that's a long time, bro. Uh-huh. I mean, you know, when I had undeclared COVID, because I, I didn't, you know, get checked or anything, but I had all the symptoms minus a the minus a fever, the body aches, the fatigue, the non taste, no smell, whatever. Man, I I just I lost about ten pounds in about a week, man. Mm-hmm. Just, I couldn't eat anything, man. No right. me nada. I, I don't know. Well, I, I lost couldn't. twenty pounds. Yeah, I went yeah. from uh, two thirty five to two fifteen in thirty days. Yeah, and but it, I told myself it was probably because. I was drinking a lot of water, yeah, uh, mm-hmm. and Gatorade, and uh, you know, and and zero, I was zero sweets. Uh-huh. You weren't having sweets either. No so. sweets, and uh, so, and then plus, le digo mi wife, nos movimos como fifteen minutes from minutes town. Away. Yeah. <laughs> so está ta, medio lejos el water burger, carnal. Yeah. Yeah. Taco so palenque y la chingada oh, se oh, jale. Man. I got everything it, all it, around. Yeah, no, bro. that's Yo también, bad. Bro. That's bad. Yeah. 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 cuando vivía en Macal en el pueblo la pinche yeah. presión la tenía por en que te la chingada el azúcar y todo el pinche pedo. El colesterol. <laughs> Dice, me moví. No, hombre, la hueva para ir hasta para cuando lleguemos para atrás de los hamburgers ya tan fríos. No, no, no. Yeah. Hazme unos egg whites, vieja. <laughs> Ay, migas. Ah, oh, no, con tortillas, migas. Yes, migas. <laughs> Unas migas oh, egg whites. Yes. I love them. Yeah. Yes, we do too. No, hombre, so then you, you had COVID then? Well, like I said, it was undeclared. It, it, it wasn't, you know, like I said, I went to the doctor. They didn't want to check me for COVID because uh, I didn't have a fever. At the time, mm-hmm. it was back in April of last year when my dad passed away, as a matter of fact. It was that same week that I uh, I had all the symptoms, mm-hmm. minus the fever when I went to see the doctor. So they said, you know, well, right now, if you don't have a fever, we don't check you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. for COVID. So yeah. me checaron nomás for everything else. Uh-huh. Este, and the guy, you know, the doctor said, no, you it, probably it, just have you know something with your throat and infection. It, it, 
But man, I said, man, this is the worst flu I have ever had in my life. If it is a flu or any type of other infection that uh -huh. I have. Porque no, hombre, bro, me estaba muriendo. ¿Y, ¿Y te pusiste en isolation y todo eso? Fíjate que no, I didn't because I didn't know if I had it or not. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, so, uh, see, my youngest, my oldest daughter had come from from uh, New York, and she got sick first. Uh -huh. So she got checked because she did have a fever, but it came out negative. But, you know, there was a lot of false negatives and negative mm, false. False positives. Yeah, yeah, false positives, yeah. And so uh, I, uh, you know, like I said, I went, they didn't check me. My, my daughter got sick. My son got sick. My wife got a little bit sick. She didn't, she was the one that got it the least. Uh, the rest of us had it a little, uh, a little heavier. I think me and uh, uh, probably my son and my, my daughter, my eldest daughter were the ones that got, got it worse. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, we, we were okay. Like you I got said, past it, was, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was okay. last year when it was barely out, 2020? Yeah, when it was in April. In April. It was uh, the beginning of April, uh, uh, end of March, because uh, my dad passed away on April 6th of last year. Yeah. So, yeah. so how's the Tejano industry doing, bro? How's the Tejano? Is there, like, yeah. is there a, the next mafia or the next Maz or the next, yeah. uh, you know? Yeah. Uh, it's funny. I was just talking to somebody about that, you know. Man, I wish it was... You know, uh, I was talking to my, my, my friend Edward, Edward Cabrera, un saludo para él. And he said, is there, is there another, a new Selena? Uh -huh. I said, or another, a new Emilio, a new Mas. I said, well, you know, there's, you know, there's a lot of new female artists out there. Mm, there sure are. You know, but do we have a breakout? Like mm -hmm. uh, Selena, Laura Canales right now? Not yet, but there's some in the works right now. Some very good singers out there, female. Male singers, honestly, there's not a lot of new ones out there. Uh, as far as a new band, uh, new mafia, no. I mean, there's Magnifico Siete. It sounds like the mafia. But, yeah. Well, I'm not. You know. I'm not saying the yeah. sound. Yeah. I'm saying I, just like I know you're talking about that new breakout, the, the a, new a group that has superstar. the potential to become the superstar. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, you see, you see, like viral videos, like Mitroquita with that band, right? What was yeah. the name of that band, baby? The um. uh, Mitroquita. I, I don't remember. Remember, they're I guess from I Houston. Know, I know, I know. They were here at the race party. And then what about that other group that... Uh, Secreto. Secreto, bro. Secreto, yeah. Secreto, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, those out of nowhere. Yeah. I mean, they just like explode yeah. and there's viral going... Vi and that's, that's the... That, that and then they the, went viral on on, on YouTube. You yeah, know? I know. Like what sixty six? Mm -hmm. What what uh, million? It's, millions? it's amazing. Crazy. And the Troquita song when it Millions. came out, boom! Yeah. Everybody yeah. knew about it. Everybody yeah. it was the it was the flavor of the week yeah. or the month or the of the year. You know, absolutely. It's one of the so. I don't know. if There's any. I mean, of course, they make that song. They become popular, and then you know, it's hard to you know bring hard that magic up. back yeah. again. You know, yeah, it's yeah. like. It's like recording an amazing album, and then what do we do now? You know, to, what's next? To make it, keep it like that. Yeah. And so, La Mafia was one of those that was consistently hit making, and they continue to every album, and yeah. they evolved into a different sound in the '90s. Yeah. That didn't stray too far from what they were doing, but it bet it, it made it more better. Como dicen en San Benito, que dicen Charlie, better. more better. Makes it more better. Yeah. More better. <laughs> Yeah, so you know what 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 I know Secreto, yeah. they've got other songs that are almost just as good as that Tropical Panama song there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh yeah. but any any band you see in Tejano music, you know, right now I can't say I can't say that, that there's uh, anybody like that yet. There was uh, this young kid and I'm trying to remember his name right now when you were talking about it. Uh, male singer that uh, he did have a lot of hits on his YouTube. Uh, he did a, a remake of uh, some uh, Jay Perez songs, and he did get some good hits. Was it Jay Perez or my songs? Oh, yes, Melio. Anyway, so, but, you know, he got a lot, a lot of following and stuff. And, uh, as a matter of fact, Abraham Quintanilla decided to pick him up and see what he could do with him. Uh, but uh, as far as, like, a band, que digamos, like, you know, La Secreto that has, uh, or the guys from La Turquita that have that much of a following, that are breaking out right now at this point, I have to say no, that I know of. I mean, we have some great songs out there. Uh, oh, by the way, shout out to Geneva, who did a, a great project. Oh, yeah, the Christian thing, Yeah, right? it's a Christian yeah, thing. Yeah, I need to bring her on the show, man. Yeah, with 25 uh, different uh, female singers. Yeah. And you would think, 25? Mm -hmm. wow. wow. But it includes from Patsy Doris. It was never like Cena. that, bro, in I know. the oh. 80s and 90s. You had three or four or five. Yeah, I know, I know. That's what I'm yeah. saying. So, but... 
is there a breakout right now? I mean, Monica Salivar is doing very well. You know, she's doing, oh, as a matter of fact, Monica Salivar uh, is performing out at the uh, uh, Troy Aikman uh, place or what it is. They're at the uh, at uh, Cowboy Stadium. Okay. Uh, every home game. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, you have some some good ones out there. But, uh, you know, as far as a band like La Mafia or Amaz, uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No wonder, man. So we're, we're there. You know, speaking of uh, uh, Dallas Cowboys Stadium and all that, um, Jennifer Peña, bro. Oh, yeah. During Canelo's fight, mm -hmm. her national anthem, bro, I think that's the best one I have ever heard in my life. Great job. Great job. I was shocked, bro. I was amazed. Yeah. I was like, it was unbelievable. And they had like uh, three different artists do the three different, uh, like three anthems. different mm -hmm. anthems, yeah. anthems, right? Anthems Mexican there. anthem. Yeah. The Mexican anthem is like, Nunca he cao, carnal. it's a long. It's a long one and it's a, it's a tough one to sing. Then, yeah. 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 And then right when you think Man. it's ending, Easy. okay, it ended. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, and it keeps yeah. going, bro. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, they said, and now singing her national anthem, Jennifer Pena. I had no idea. I know. I, I didn't know she was in the city there. What? Like, That's what? her? Wow. I haven't seen her in a long time. And, you know, uh, and then her vocals just like, and she hit it at a note that I was like, okay, okay, okay. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It was amazing. I'd love to have her on the show, too. Jennifer Pena, if you're watching or listening, come on over to hashtag PVT. We'd like to see what mm -hmm. you're up to. Absolutely. Huh? I mean, she's doing some projects right now with her husband. Este, and, Obi uh, Bermudez. Obi right? Bermudez. Matter of fact, they're on uh, one of the uh, dance shows. Uh, I don't. It's not Dancing with the Stars. I forget what it's called. But they're doing uh, one of those dance shows. And, like, uh, I didn't even know that. Bro. Yeah. She's and, got a lot of things going yeah, on. Yeah. And, and they're going to do a, a uh, production together, uh, probably maybe a whole album together, her and Obi. So she's uh, wanting to come back. Somebody told me, you know, Kenta knows, is that nobody's watching anyway, right? Okay. Uh, <laughs> that I heard that she might start, at least maybe record another album. I'm not too sure if it's going to be Tejano International or what. But certainly she's going to do something with Obi. She can That's probably awesome. be an amazing yes. Mexican-American crooner, dude. I mm -hmm. mean, uh, her voice is... Yeah. I I mean, and when she was young, she had the kitty voice, you know? Yeah. And then she... Yeah. But I remember when she first came out and her dad was, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, managing her like Ab Abraham did Selena. Yeah. And so there was some parallels like with Selena and yeah. they were thinking that she was the next Selena. After Selena, it's Jennifer. Yeah. And uh, and then she just like uh, she I stopped know, recording. So and all of a sudden, and I think she was like at the perfect time to break out big time because uh, she had started recording internationally. And then she uh, I don't know. If you, did you ever see the movies she was on? No. Yeah, there's a couple of movies she's in. Really? And one of them, she plays kind of uh, one of the uh, co-starring role, roles. Man, I forgot the title of the movie. Uh, este, pero uh, she she did a good job acting, man. And uh, so she had started acting, taking some acting classes That's and great. stuff. That's great. And uh, did some recordings and stuff. And luego, de repente, poof, se casó con Obi. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she decided to stay back and, and you know. And they have kids? Do they have, have kids? kids? Yeah. Oh, and then maybe she just wanted to be a mom, you know. And, and I heard she was singing at a, at a she's, uh, they live in Corpus, and she was singing at uh, at uh, one of the uh, churches there. Yeah. Doing some Christian music and stuff, which is great, you know, yeah. singing to God. So Speaking great. of Christian music, uh, este Johnny Ariola, he's. Yeah. He's gone. I mean, who would have ever thought that they would have split up, uh, you know, or I he know. would have left the band. I would imagine he would still do Palominos and still do his, and, and, and have the bendición from the band to do his Christian projects. Because yeah. nowadays, everybody can do projects outside the band. Nobody's really tied to a record label anymore. Yeah. Back yeah. in the day, you'd sign with a record label, the whole band, and you got to stick it out and you got to keep it together. Yeah. Uh, but um, I saw the video when it came out of uh, Johnny. Beautiful song, man. I oh, mean, great stuff. And man, uh, Christian, yeah. uh, he's, he's going full-blown Christian, right? Yeah, yeah. The first song he came out with was uh, one of my favorite songs, Christian songs, I can only imagine. And uh, he did oh, it. Oh yeah, Spanish. that's the one I saw. Puedo imaginar, uh, no puedo imaginarme, and did a great job. He's got he's got a whole album, and he's doing real good. I was talking to uh, Myra Myra D, uh, and she was saying that he's doing great. He's uh, going out out of state, doing a lot of performances, and uh, you know, selling out some crowds out there and stuff. And uh, yeah, I was hopeful that they would. Uh, I, and I think maybe someday soon, hopefully, uh, they might come back together and maybe do some stuff together. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you never know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't think it was a bad breakup no, or anything. No, it wasn't it? a bad breakup. It's just, you know, he and wanted Johnny to. Johnny and them, I mean, they're like some. And, 
you know, the interesting thing is uh, there's some of them, from what I've known them and since I've known them, since they started they were playing out of a van. Yeah. You know, dressing up outside the Villarreal and be next to the van to get in to open up for La Mafia because Mando yeah. Lichtenberger had picked them up and recorded their first album. Yeah. That was freaking amazing. Uh, the Norte al Sur, I think it was oh, called. good stuff, man. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Me estoy yeah. enamorado. Oh, when I first yeah. heard that song, I was like, who are these guys? Yeah. You know, and um, that's why I was asking about any bands that you've been hearing where you're you get that feeling yeah. again. I mean, you know, we we have uh, you know, what are the value you're talking about? Great voices, este, um, uh, el Retoño, Grupo Retoño. Oh, yeah, oh, those I guys are Retonio. amazing, bro. They got some great music, great voice. I think, man, those guys, híjole, with the right management and right, you know, pues uno de ellos toca con control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh, yeah. El, el, el acordeón toca abajo con control. I saw him, I kept telling yeah. my wife. That's him. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's uh, you know, and, and it was. It ended up being him. Yeah. This. But they have their own thing, you know. I mean, you know, like you said, you know, nowadays, you know, bands will jam with yeah, other bands. Yeah, you can moonlight. Yeah, you yeah, can you moonlight. moonlight. Make some money. Yeah, but Antonio, man, they got some amazing voices. Uh, Samuel Ramos de los Tesoros <laughs> was a dad and hijo. Que Songwriter. Puro talento. Puro talento. Yeah, dude. Yeah, good. That's a good band, man. Este, pero pues, you know, nowadays, it's not like it used to be where... You could make a living off the music anymore, especially when COVID came in yeah. and all the bands lost the gigs Ew. and they said, okay, do we have any money saved up? That's crazy, man. Now, those who did it, leg you know, legitimately, you know, I'm saying that estaban reportando al IRS. As a business. Yeah, they, they got uh, unemployment. Thank and, goodness. And then they, they probably also got a small business uh, type of chunk. Because I know a yeah. lot of businesses here yeah. in the Valley, they got a pretty good amount of money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah with yeah. Uh, what uh, I think Trump had signed that out. Right, yeah, To yeah. help uh, out the businesses. All the small businesses, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And, and a friend of mine that's got a local metal band, he told me, hey, dude, I filled out the paperwork and they sent me like $5,000. Ooh, doggy. And I was like, chinga, bro, you know, I don't, I'm not into signing paperwork. <laughs> 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 no me bato, no quiero nada. You babe. mean I don't have time. Babe, me. <laughs> hey, firma sus papeles, babe, por favor. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Manos a Roman, man, right here. And uh, we got some really cool stuff going on um, with uh, hashtag PBT. Uh, Desperado Harley Davidson's 10 year anniversary on Saturday, October 16th. It's on a Saturday night, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's bike night, 10 year anniversary, Desperado. And there'll be food, beer, bikes, bikers, and live music. We're going to have a stage out there. We got bands featuring, remember the guys that were here that sang uh, Rancheras? Uh, they were brothers. They have a band called Venomous. They'll be there. So will Whiskey D. We'll be headlining the party. It's going to be fantastic. We want to invite everybody. And there's another band that we're going to announce shortly, Tambien. Desperado Harley David says 10 year anniversary, Saturday, October 16th, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. Absolutely free for everybody. Just go on over there, have fun with us. And Whiskey D will be headlining. And uh, we haven't played out here in the Rio Grande Valley since June. Since June. Since yes. June, man. Wow. Because, you know, COVID and all that stuff mm -hmm. happened. So that'll be happening. The 16th will be our first show. We're going to do a 90-minute set on a beautiful stage, light show, the sound system. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be outside of Desperado Harley-Davidson in the parking lot, big old party, vendors, all kinds of cool stuff. So stay tuned, and we'll uh, let you know more about it as it gets closer. Also, Fan Fest Comic Con at Casa de Amistad in Harlingen, October 23rd to 24th. It's a comedy show on Friday, October 22nd. I'm really looking forward to seeing this guy, Jim Brewer. Take a look at him. You probably remember him from Saturday Night Live as the Goat Boy. This guy is one of the funniest comedians in the nation. He is going to be here for the very first time in the Rio Grande Valley. It's going to be on a Friday night. And you know who's opening up for him? Have you ever watched Cobra Kai, Mando? Oh, yeah, 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 it, it, yeah. It, 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 there's a guy named Brett Ernst that comes out on Cobra Kai. And I was like, which one's Brett Ernst? It's el... el uh, el que es primo de, de, de este, del car dealer. Yes. Este es primo de él, and he works there. Oh, and, wow. uh, Yeah, we have a picture of him, so you can see him as well. So he's going to be here in the valley? Yeah, he's going to be Damn. here, and he's going to open up. He's a stand-up comedian, actually. Wow, I had no idea. And so Mario Superstar Salazar will be there. You've seen him on hashtag <laughs> PVT, man. He's funny as hell. Oh, as crazy. Cuando se puso la t-shirt, le dio una t-shirt, y se puso una button shirt arriba, le dije, hey, gordos always do that. <laughs> they always put it. He goes, no, man, I never do that shit. I thought, oh, no. No, uh, it's that you gave me an extra uh, three. 
DX said, Slim, bro. <laughs> and we made him, take, we made him, take, quítate la wey, quítate la enseña el PBT, órale. And all of us, take it off, take it off. And he takes it off, dude. Y ahí se pone la camisa arriba en la panza, carnal. Oh, carnal. my God. That's Como crazy. el delantal. Uh -huh. sí. <laughs> sí. So, so Mario's going to be there as well. Uh, Sonia Trevino, who is amazing, she's a female, she'll be the MC. she's a female uh, comedian. Uh, vendors cosplay, which is costume play, playing, like, when we go to dress the Comic-Cons, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. one of my favorite dress things, yeah, is yeah. when you see all everybody dressed, dressed up, up like I comic know, book crazy, characters, man. dude, it's They really out. go all out, Big man. time, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. So they're going to have that music, lots of awesome meet and greets with Terminator and Tombstone actor Michael Bain, Jennifer Bain, Kyle uh, Herbert, Todd Habercorn, and Eric Vale, and it's emceed by Dom, the, the Dom father of Gears of War, Carlos Ferro. Now, some of these names we probably don't know them, but yeah. they're like voice actors, some of these guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they have voice actors of some of these cartoons and some of these programs. And when I would go to Comic-Con, they had the longest the line longest of lines. kids, dude. Yeah. Yes. It's freaking amazing. It's because it's kids that follow, you know, that, that mm -hmm. uh, type of thing. Big they, time. they know all uh -huh, this. Uh-huh, bro, Simone. Yeah, yeah. And so it's going to be fat. Take the kids. It's going to be awesome. And then there's a concert on Saturday night with American Idol finalist Adam and the Metal Hawks at Orphanage Road. So go to rgvfanfest.net for all the ticket info, okay? So I'll put it con madre. That's going to be on October 23rd, 24th. Plus, hashtag PVT will be there live interviewing the celebrities so it's oh, gonna be that. awesome man you'll get to meet us too that's worth the ticket the price alone <laughs> <laughs> and more better yeah that's right yeah yep, yep, yep. ladies and gentlemen uh we also have some t-shirts if you want to buy any of our t-shirts make sure to go and uh, follow the directions that we have in the description of the video we have a Tetera Tuesday t-shirt que tiene el accordion para que te puedas aventar un accordionazo air accordion ahí cuando estás en el party o alrededor del bote con el bote emprendido bien Billy bien, ah le tenemos que mandar una Billy Mendoza bien. yes uh, yes he sí, te mandó, his te mandó la address he órale. did, he did. le dije órale Billy qué size for Excel what <laughs> ¿Quieres meter el barril adentro ahí o qué? <risa> Le dije, oye, oye, Billy, estás medio, estás medio fluffy, carnal. De buen tamaño. <risa> y me hace text para atrás. Monsi Dad. <risa> Simón, Simón, Simón Dad. Simón, Simón, yeah. <risa> no, I think it was, it wasn't a 4XL, it was a 3XL. I, I, I put like that. Está like that. That. pesadito el Billy, tú sabes. <risa> Asustame One Time T-shirt. We got that one too, man. That's an amazing shirt. That's probably our hottest seller. También tenemos this one that comes in as a close uh, second. second. The Telocico, bro. <laughs> the Telocico, bro. We get to say that a lot sometimes. Oh, man. that's good, man. That's good. Uh, the Rock and Chaz Show, which is uh, the least bought T-shirt. <laughs> oh, come on, Chaz. Esa ni la puedo regalar, baby. No, stop it. Para que laven los carros. Ah, yeah. no, no. Órale, <laughs> Rock. Gracias, mijito. Una gamusa, carnal. Es todo, <laughs> Oh, Déjame sabes. echarle ahorita con... Voy a hacer la Rock and Chess t-shirt para tallarle la, el, los rines del carro, de, de la, la troca. Una polichada, carnal, una polichada. La palabra polichada. La polichada. And, uh, and then we have the Whiskey D t-shirts that we will have at the show at uh, Desperado Hardy mm -hmm. Davidson on the 16th. And then we have another show on the 30th, but we'll tell you about that one later. That's going to be fantastic as well. We want to get past the 16th first, okay? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, we want to thank our sponsor, the Law Office of Carlos A. Garcia. If you are injured, oh, déjame quitar este para que no haga glare mucho, para que vayan a... It looks perfect. Se mira bien serio, Carlos ahí. Ah, no, bien míralo. serio de a tiro. Man. Así entra la corte y se asustan y temblan los abogados y temblan los jueces. Y todo let's se settle. Asusta, ah, let's settle. Fácil. <laughs> the Law Office of Carlos A. Garcia, if you're injured in a serious accident, Arrested on serious charges, you need an attorney that'll fight for you in court because serious cases require a serious lawyer. Call him at 956-584-1448-956-584-1448. 24 hours a day, 24 horas al día, 7 días a la semana. Visit their website at thegarciafirm.com. He is board certified in criminal law by the Texas Board of Legal Specialization. He will knock them out. Sopas. Ladies and gentlemen, the law office of Carlos E. Garcia. Sustame, Walter. Eso. 
Cállate la boca, chat up. Órale, vámonos, Recio. ¿Qué sí? Vamos a ver. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. I feel like I'm in the hot seat here. You are. Oh, my goodness. $300, carnal? Órale. ¿Y me los gano yo o qué? Sí. Oh, no, pues fácil. Qué Pero bueno. you have to answer 10. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ah, yeah. yo para qué una. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, you got to uh, reach up to 10. Hijo eso. Easy. A ver si le pego de menos if, a una. If the, if the question, if the answer is correct, you hear this. Okay. Uh-huh. And if the answer is wrong, you'll hear... Oh, man, okay. I'm right. probably going to hear that first, bro. Okay, well, we'll see. Dang it. Okay, okay. Hay unos chavos que chingan y la primera pueden agarrar a Big Vita bien fácil. No digan nada, bro, aquí estoy. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's probably going to be so me. Don't forget to intro. <laughs> okay. Forget All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... Oh, before that. Oh, dear. Before we go there. Did you put it already? No, nope, Okay. Well, so, anything you want to tell the fans out there besides uh, tune in to Manos Arrumadas yeah. in the mornings or whatever? Yeah, you want, yeah, yeah. No shout out. So, algo yeah, lo que, no, uh, no, before, no. before you get decimated in this millionaire game, <laughs> oh, no. your last <laughs> rides, <laughs> carnal. Yeah. 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 Déjame aventarte agua bendita. Yeah. La chingada, we need pedo. funeral uh, plan. Yeah. Este, <laughs> no, no, shout out to my, to, 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 you know, all the people watching right now. All the fans that get the PVT, man. Uh, make sure you tune in to PVT. He's got some great shows, man. Yo me entretengo ahí a veces mirando. I was uh, seeing uh, Ram and Oh yeah, <laughs> man, I, I, it was funny, man. The first, uh, first segment, you know, when it's a corto, que no, no estaba jalando. Uh huh. So y'all had to come back, and he did a great job singing that song. Uh, it's the nights in Montreal, man. Hey. Oh, exactly. Anyway, so yeah, check out PVT, and of course, uh, don't forget to listen to uh, Super Tejano One Two Point One, where Tejano lives. It's uh, I'm on from seven to eleven, Monday to Friday. Ahí estamos con el favor de Dios. If there's anybody that, because there's not many Tejano radio stations left. Yeah. And if there's anybody that's fitting uh, to be in one of the only Tejano radio stations and st still in the only jock there, it's you, bro. Oh, thank you, bro. Because you. uh, you've given your entire life to this industry and to this uh, genre of music. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not time. just as a DJ, but as yeah. a performer, as a musician, También. Uh, and, uh, and as an activist mm -hmm. for the oh, music. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah. You know, you've been... Uh, you've produced uh, the, the uh, well, you've been part of the award show. Is that award show yeah, still going? Uh, yeah, well, you know, for this year we decided to to put it on hold. Uh huh. Uh, we did. We had a great lineup. Oh my God, had an amazing lineup. But uh, you know, we just uh, thought that we were gonna have because the artists that we were gonna have uh, was gonna be quite a few number of, of artists plus our uh, production crew uh, plus all the volunteers, the staff, and uh, the attendees. We thought it was gonna be too many of the artists to be out there. We had just lost Gipper. Uh, we lost Pepper uh, mm -hmm. from uh, Pio Trevino. And uh, este Hector Gonzalez, by the way, uh, un saludo para él, que he's in the hospital still fighting for his life right now with COVID. Hector uh, Gonzalez? Hector Gonzalez from the 2Gs, yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, he's, uh, he, but he's getting better. I, t I, I miss his back and forth with uh, Roro. His, uh, his Lots of prayers to him and his yeah, family. Absolutely. So, you know, we decided, you know what, we don't want to – affect in a negative way to any of the Tejano artists. So in protection for them, yeah. we decided to, to put it on hold. Yeah, let this and thing go. Man, I hope next yeah, year it's yeah, done. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's, I mean, I don't think we'll ever get rid of COVID, but it'll yeah. be to a point where most... At least manageable. Uh, uh, herd immunity is the yeah, word they say. Absolutely. And, and hopefully it'll happen, man. Pero es que no, yo, y tú, yo y tú éramos, somos los tipos de que cortamos la yarda y nos vientamos en canales a nadar allá en progreso. Oh, chinga. yeah. So, estamos, we're Cos, armored. Cosa yes. mala nunca we're, muere. Yeah. All the bacteria that yeah. we drank in. Uh, you hey, know, I used to eat dirt, bro. Yeah. ¿Qué más quieres? Yeah, yeah. Agarraba los terrones. Hey, puro pinche immune, immune system pesado. I still remember the taste. It was pretty good, actually. Y nos, oh, my God. Y nos tenían afuera en el sol. Oh, yeah, man. I worked out there yeah, in the fields, yeah, man. Nadie yeah, yeah, yeah. se queda aquí en la casa. Vamos para afuera. Cortar yeah, yarda yeah, o van a pisquear naranja. Van a hacer yeah, algo. Ahí está el asador. Órale, ándale. Así nos tenían, yeah. Dad. Oh, yeah. Heck Taloneándole. Yeah. So we're immune. Yeah. Estamos immune, Dad. So so for us. Well, porque we already got it, too, so we're immune. Right? Yeah. Because they say if you have, if you get it, you have the antibody. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And that it's yeah. better than the, you know, yeah. jab, yeah. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah. But I don't know how true that is because nobody knows anything. You know, yeah, they tell you one thing and then it's another thing. You we know? take, we take, uh, you know, whatever protection I, I can get, I'm gonna take, man. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know, see, human see. condoms. That's what we need, bro. Human condoms. Um, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> 
<risa> ¿Te imaginas el piquito? Andamos todos en rubber suits, carnal. Vamos a rubber. hacer un cone head. Yeah. <risa> <risa> oh, y, de, yeah. y, y de ahí... Y de ahí nomás cerras así y comienza a, a breathe out y se hace para arriba. El... <risa> <Se lo ve. risa> oh, I can picture that. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. It, yeah. Anybody on yes. the... So they keep on typing in... Felimón? Felimón el ratón. Felimón. Oh, yeah. Felimón el ratón. Yes, they keep on oh. typing that. And I was waiting for you guys to give me a little, a little time yeah. so that I can say that. Filemón el ratón, yeah. A lot of people probably don't. Uh, I, I, and I honestly, I don't know how you did that every morning. Well, you know, talking about Teofilo Garcia earlier, we were uh -huh. talking about, and uh, he was the program director. He came to me one day when I was on the, doing the morning show at KIWW, and he said, I was alone. And everybody else had somebody else. Yeah, that was bounce off of, yeah. So, yeah, so he said, Puedes crear un, una, un personaje imaginario, like an imaginary person. Uh, you know, character. Dijo, pues, no. Dijo, no puedes hacer otra voz. Pues, la verdad que no. Pues, haz algo, a ver qué puedes hacer. So, I went into the production. What do I do, man? What do I, what, what do I create? So, I thought, man, I, I thought about the chipmunks, man. Mm -hmm. So, I uh, recorded on uh, seven and a half on the reel, and then I played it back at 15. But it sounded mm -hmm. like, blah, blah, blah. I said, oh, I got to slow down my voice when I say it. So, let's say I'm going to say Dennis Hopper. So, I said, Dennis Hopper. So when I played back, it said, Dennis Hopper. Like a, you know, like a mouse. Uh -huh. So, wow, it sounds pretty good. I was shocked. Yeah. It was, when I hear it, I was like, how in the world is my yeah. how to do that? So I did it. I recorded, you know, like a little skit between me and Filemon. Yeah. Which was me all the time. Because, ladies and gentlemen, there was yeah. no software to change uh, your voice. There wasn't. Uh -uh. I had to you do had it to the hard way. manipulate reel and yeah. stuff and tape. Yeah. So then I took it to to, to Filemon, to uh, uh, um, este Diofilo. Se Diofilo. And he said, oh, ¿y cómo le vamos a poner? Dijo, pues, no sé. Dijo, dijo pues, se oye como un, como un ardillo, like a squirrel. Dijo, ponle Filomeno el ardillo. And I thought, okay. <laughs> That shit ain't going to fly in the valley, homeboy. Filomeno el ardillo, like, really, neta, bro? Like, so People are going to think it's a brick. Yeah, and I thought, ladrillo. You know, they're, they're going to think I'm, which I was stealing the voice of the chipmunks. You know, so, uh -huh. you know, I don't want to do that. So when I started You thinking, weren't stealing, you were re yeah, replicating. Replicating, exactly. <laughs> so then uh, so then I next day overnight I was thinking, what the, you know, Filomeno Lardio. So then I'm thinking, it's you know you know what what can a freaking you know uh, squirrel do? You know, I gotta think about something that's more mischievous. Ah, un ratón, the mice, you know, they're you know, everybody hates mice, uh -huh. you know. And, Dije, pero what, what's going to rhyme, Filemón? Oh, Filemón el ratón. And there it goes. So I said, man, I'll call it that, Filemón el ratón. So I went back and I told him, Filemón el ratón. So that's uh, where the character wow. came from. And, you know, besides manipulating yeah. the tape to make yeah. the voice sound like a chipmunk, mm -hmm. uh, coming up with scripts every day. Every day, bro. Like something oh, fresh, man. something different, and something I, current. I don't know how many. And then recording his part in his voice. Yeah. And then doing your part well, and playing it off. Were you doing it live or yeah, was it all pre-recorded? I would just record Filimon El Ratón uh -huh, on, on, a on a tape and a cart. Uh -huh. And I would script everything out. So And I was writing. It wasn't typing, bro. Yeah. I was scripted out. And I in the morning, you know, I'd play back the tape and I would talk back with the tape. Uh -huh. That was me and Filamon talking back and yeah. forth, you know. Did you ever have a mishap where you hit it and it said something else that didn't answer what you were asking? or did Yeah, you but I played out, you know, like, yeah, you yeah, know, like yeah. he messed up or whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's what we're good. We're good at that. We're good at hiding our screw-ups, oh, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we're a pro at that. Yeah, All the yeah, time. yeah. I still do it. <laughs> Yeah, if I fall on my ass, I meant to do I that. Hey, I meant to do that. Con mi astucia. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, that happened. Yeah, Filemon el Ratón, a lot of people still ask me about it. And like, it know. lasted for a while. I mean, it yeah, was... Yeah, it was a few years, bro. I yeah, they, we out, even man. had a mascot that would go around to yeah. the remote so people could take pictures with him. And yeah, they, they, uh, had uh, like a coloring book, uh, pencils, uh, stickers, t-shirts. I mean, Filemon was... Mm -hmm. You know, I killed him because he was getting more famous than I was, bro. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what what actually did happen? It it just it well, ran its course or no, what? Well, no, I I burned out. Uh, Net, I burned out. I oh. I asked them, you know, I need a break. See, the thing is, you know, at the time I was uh, doing a lot of the commercials. Then they wanted to feel more on the commercials uh -huh. and stuff, and so I had to script that out and do that plus script out for the next day. And I had to think about what am I going to talk about tomorrow? I can't talk about the weather because what if it's raining and I talk about raining and it's not, yeah. you know? And so I had to script everything out every day the day before, record all that, put it on card, come back in the morning, do it. 
re replicate it and the next day the same thing over and over. So I asked him, you know, I need a break, man. I, yeah, I need dude. a I would have been burned out in three months. So they said, you know, wow, well, well, you know, maybe send off Philemon to on vacation. It was summer vacation. So it was about uh, maybe about uh, March, April or something. So I said that he was going on vacation after May for summer school. You know, he was going off to summer school or whatever. So I took that. After that happened, uh, man, I was... Now you don't even man. want to go back there. I don't want to go back. So yeah, I, I came back for a while. I told him, I can't. I can't do it anymore. You know, yeah. I just... Uh, I still have the script somewhere. And they somewhere didn't even the house, say... Right? Bueno, pues te vamos a dar de este tanto dinero para que lo sigas. Then I didn't do that. <laughs> no, no, I didn't. I, that, that wouldn't work, man. I was, I was done. <laughs> I was done with it, man. And they, yeah. they sold a lot with Filibon, man. I know, man. Yeah, yeah. Ni, ni un centavo, un percentage acá, no. carnal, un nada. Be, the only thing I wanted was the uh, the costume. That's what I wanted. Yeah. And I heard somebody's got it somewhere. Really? Yeah. yeah. I wonder who has it. I, I don't know. I heard somebody that they found it at some storage or something. And, uh, well, if anybody knows where the Felibone Raton suit yeah. is, yeah, that's all I want. It, it was a, it was a, a, it was like a mono with a big yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it was, it's, it's looked like a big mouse. Yeah, man, a dude. Giant mouse, yeah, man. put yeah, the, yeah. put him in a in, in yeah. a mannequin and I, put him, you know, in your in your house, dude. Yeah, yeah just you know, just for fun. To yeah, have, you know, nostalgia, like, like a relic. I yeah, think, you know, ladies and gentlemen. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's go. Running out of time here. All right, here we go. Let's bring this back and let's start this music up a little bit more, even though it goes for a long time. All right. But uh, I'm ready. Muy bien. Serio el pedo. Ya se me cosió la mente ahorita, bro. No sé si va a jalar este jale. So, no sé si va a jalar este jale. That's South Texas, ladies and gentlemen. one time. No, here we go. All right. So, so the first question, you don't have any time limit. But okay. the second question, oh, I'll be here oh till goodness. tomorrow. You'll have 60 <laughs> seconds. Oh. Okay. oh, okay. So I gotta put them. You want to take? So. You want to take? Uh, so let's do question number one. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> I'm <Okay>. nervous, bro. <laughs> I've never been under the spotlight like this. All right. In their 1962 I'm song. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. Sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Millionaire Game. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, baby. What's this? Es graphic, I know. Oh, it's because you, know, you she... would like to make clips of certain things. Sí. So, I so, have, have, have a beginning and an end. I said, me, me, me la dale, 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 me está regañando la Me está regañando. Let's do it one more time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the hashtag PBT Millionaire Game. <laughs> All right. So question number one for Manu San Roman, three hundred dollars in the pot. Oh my god! In their nineteen sixty-two song, the Beach Boys were going on what kind of safari? A. Sailing, B. Hunting, C. Surfing, or D. Swimming. Do I have a lifeline? No lifelines. Okay, I'm just gonna go with my first guess. Surfing safari. Oh, that surfing Woo! safari. Is that your final answer? Yes, yeah, my final answer. Surfing right. safari. It is. Correct. Woo! That's one. How much do I get there? You got 60 seconds. By definition, which of the following is a specific point of congested traffic? A, bottleneck, B, Los Angeles, C, V-neck, or D, turtleneck? A, bottleneck. A, bottleneck. <laughs> Final answer? Bottleneck, A. Okay. You are correct. Stop. I want to oh get the $300 right now. Okay, oh. 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. According to a popular saying, a person who is tricked or deceived was led down the what? Walk of Fame, Golden Mile, gar Garden Path, or Plank? According to a popular saying, a person who is tricked or deceived was led down the what? Walk of Fame, Golden Mile, Garden Path, or Plank? 30 seconds. D plank. D plank. Final answer. D plank. Really? It is garden path. What? 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 <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! plank. man! Oh man! plank. man! Oh plank. Oh man! 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 I would have said plank too, bro. Damn. I would have thought that. What was the answer? Let down the what? Garden path. What 
the That's heck? That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Es burro, otro... hombre. Yo me parte del club de burros. Yeah. No, oh, pero ladies and gentlemen, God. Mando Sarroban Radio Legend, man. It's been a fantastic show with oh, you here, no, bro. Thank you, bro. Thank and you. we appreciate you, man. And uh, once again, you know, uh, you know, whatever you ever need from us, you let us know. And maybe uh, when something comes up with the awards, come on down. Let's talk about it. Absolutely. Let's start pushing it. And uh, let's help out our legendary pioneers in the Tejano industry that have, uh, you know, paved the road. Man, they're getting older, bro. Yeah, they're getting older, you man. You know, you've got little Joe, 80, 80 something, and then you've got yeah. uh, Mr. Quintanilla, 82, and yeah. you've got uh, Ruben Ramos. I mean, I need to get these guys. El Carlos Guti. Guzman, El Guti. Joe Bravo's going to do his last show, final show in November. Sí. Yeah, yeah final show. ¿Y yeah, aquí en el Valle o dónde? No, was it in San Anto. En San Anto. I think in Randy's, so obviously. Orale. Yeah, and uh, of course, you know, uh, Joe Lopez still going, man, you know, as he's... Uh, he just had a birthday recently, but he's still going, man. He's still got to go. I know. How old is he now? 70? Ah, híjole, me dijo, but I think it was 72. Not too seguro. 72? I could be wrong, Is it 43? Man, Joe, if, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. And if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Oye, Joe Lopez nunca quiso venir al show, carnal. Sentarse aquí conmigo un rato, well, hang out. You interviewed him. ¿Qué dice? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, he's got a lot of restrictions right now. Honestly, uh -huh. he's got a lot of restrictions, and that's why... You know, a lot of people think, you know, he just doesn't want to go, but he's got a lot of restrictions. He's still... So he know, can't go, like, to the radio station and hang out with you? He or? did. He finally did. Okay. Apenas fue hace como unas tres, cuatro semanas. Okay. So he finally did. So, but uh, maybe now. Maybe now. He might want to try yeah. it out, man. Yeah. I'll yeah, talk to him, man. man. I'm, I'm going to be talking to him pretty soon. I'm really intrigued with his story of, you know, when he was growing up and, yeah. you know, and... When he went into the military and stuff like that, Fabulosos Cuatro Years and all that good yeah. stuff, man. The Latin, uh, I mean, uh, Latin you know. Society and Brownsville también. Yeah, he yeah. had that bump Bases. on the road, but, you know, yeah. that doesn't, uh, that shouldn't diminish or uh, erase the what he has done for our our culture. Absolutely, and, man. And the, in the music. And Absolutely. That. And I mean, he's still selling out shows, a lot of shows. He's yeah. selling shows, man. Yeah. Doing great. Yeah, Joe. Y cuando te quieras dar la vuelta, let me know, all right? Órale. Well, that's going to do it for us, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow night, we have Renee Sanchez Vial and her husband from uh, Society 204. They're going to be here. Awesome. And we have something very special lined up for that couple tomorrow. It's we, a surprise it's still, a surprise. right? Okay. We're not going to tell surprise. you. No, let's not. But you want to watch the show tomorrow. It's going to be very interesting. <laughs> Hopefully, they won't end up getting mad at each other. Uh-oh. That's well, what I'm worried about. Uh-oh. They may. I, I don't know. Yeah. It depends. I hope not. All right. And then on Thursday, we're going to have a good show as well, play some jams and uh, push it into the weekend. And then next week, the next three weeks, going to be like four and five nights of shows. So we got a lot of stuff going on. We have a on. lot going on. Manos a we love you, man. All right. Love you, carnal. Thank and you. Uh, thank you so much, guys. PVT, hashtag PVT. Y puro pinche Dallas Cowboys. Oh, Papa, forever, Dad. Hello, oh. chamos. Wave at the camera, Daddy. If you've been injured in a serious accident or you've been arrested on some serious charges, you need an attorney that's going to fight for you. Carlos A. Garcia. Obviously, if you're approached by a federal agency as it relates to an investigation, be it healthcare fraud, drug conspiracies, money laundering, bank fraud, any other federal crime, you want to remain silent. You want to talk to a lawyer who can give you real, honest advice. Give them a call right away, 956-584-1448, because serious cases require a serious lawyer. I'm Carlos A. Garcia, a criminal defense attorney in the Rio Grande Valley. I've been practicing criminal law for over 15 years. I'm board certified in criminal law, and I can help you with every problem you may have. Board certified in criminal law, attorney Carlos A. Garcia. 956-584-1448.